We're not gonna make it, are we? People, I mean. It's in your nature to destroy yourselves. Yeah. Major drag, huh? Hello there. Sorry about the wind, nothing I can do about that, but it is at least a very sunny day. Today I want to make a super quick video about leftist infighting, and by that of course I'm referring to the tweet by Lindsay Ellis that she posted recently. The left go, here's a really confusing tweet that no one understands but about 1% of people. Let's cancel someone. And of course, by cancel someone, I mean that Lindsay Ellis closed her account, which arguably isn't cancelling if you do it yourself, but still, we'll go with it for now. Now, I'm not saying the tweet that she sent, which makes no sense to me because I never watch any anime ever, isn't racist. All I'm saying is that if people need multiple tweet threads and Facebook threads to explain why it's racist, and after that it still makes no sense at all, then maybe it appears to your layman, <coughs> i.e. me, as an unreasonable cancellation. Now, that's not a defence of bread cheap or its fans, in fact, it's the opposite. It's a condemnation. I, um, if anyone ever looks at my Twitter, which uh, you could do because it gets more fucking um, attention than these videos do, then you'll notice I've been consistent with my, um, I wouldn't say hatred, i just say disappointment in BreadTube and people who support BreadTube creators. Because at the end of the day, and this is a video I'm going to make in the future, but I'll give you a little preview now. At the end of the day, all the BreadTube people do is retweet each other, is plug each other's work, when they have humongous audiences already. In fact, a while ago, a couple of years ago, Sean and HBOM both declared that they are going to mute the majority of the people they follow and only communicate with a, a small group of people. And lo and behold, that has become the way. Now, I find it slightly ironic that so-called socialists are unable to share the wealth somewhat and that goes for bread tube fans as well who um, only watch a very small select amount of things from left left wing uh, content creators now please prove me wrong by all means but uh, if you're only watching a small amount of left tube you're supporting one sort of section of views only now is it a cult it's hard for me to say um, although i would say yes Am I bitter? You bet I'm bitter. Have you seen the amount of views these videos get? You just get 5,000 views per decent video, and now I will really struggle to get 500. Of course I'm bitter. But at the end of the day, my point still stands. If you only watch a few people's stuff, it's gonna narrow your views about things. Look, the right are desperate to paint anybody left wing as being overreactionary and leading the cancel culture war against them, which is basically not true. Oh, yeah. It's fair to say that most of the time the right are clutching at straws when they accuse the left of being instigators of cancel culture. However, if they took the slightest bit of interest in leftist infighting, they will see a wealth of ammunition to use against us. The most pathetic examples of cancel culture ever. Instead of just doing their usual tactic of making shit up about us. So consider that the very slimmest, smallest silver lining ever in this Lindsay Ellis drama.